Now that we know how to control our lights, let's build some presets. Presets in any lighting console, you may know them as palettes or preset palettes, are a building block that we use to create our cues so that we can update things later. We'll start by selecting our first group of lights, and we're just going to bring them up to full, press record, and place it on the first preset. Now, we'll notice here, I'm going to move this record pop-up. Across the bottom, we have our different parameter groups. These match the ones on the small screen that, are, that serve our encoder wheels. The parameter groups contain presets that, by default, only contain parameters of that preset type. So an intensity parameter group preset only has intensity, strobe, and similar attributes. The pan tilt will have the movement, the color will have the color parameters, etc. We can override this, though, using the filters at the bottom. But for this, we're not going to. So we'll go ahead, touch our first box here, type to name it, just like creating a group. Same exact process as you'll find in Onyx. Things are very consistent like this. Creating groups is the same general workflow as creating presets, the same general syntax and workflow as creating cues. Now I'll go ahead, I'll just take these lights to 50%, build another one, name it. Again, if you type something else before you named it, you can tap the preset again and name it. 10%, zero, done. Now, when we build presets, we generally want to build presets that contain every type of fixture that can do that type of attribute. When we go to select the presets later, we first select lights in our group and then press on the preset. So I'm going to clear twice, select my other three groups of lights, take them to full, record, press my first preset, and we'll see we get this merge pop-up. This walks us through if we want to merge the current preset, replace it, or change our command or cancel, we will merge. Now, to speed that process up, we'll take these to 50% for a second preset, and when we record on this pop-up, under conflict, we're going to select merge. Once it's in red, you know it's selected. Now, press the star in the corner of the record pop-up, and now we've saved this setting so that it's going to save us keystrokes in the future. Press our 50%, it automatically merges, it doesn't ask us. With the record pop-up, we can go ahead at any point, change the options, resave it with the star. It's no problem at all. 10%, we'll build our last two. Boom, just like that, nice and easy. Let's build some pan tilt presets. Clearing twice, I'll go ahead and select all four groups of my lights, take them to full, and now I'm working with pan and tilt. To start, I think I'm going to deselect all my other lights and just select the darts. Now, we'll go ahead to pan tilt, tilting first as always. We'll go ahead. We've got our two sides reversed here, so I'm just going to go to my 2D plan here, put a box around my second side, that deselects them, and then go ahead and match my first to my second. Perfect. We'll go ahead, I'm going to work with these darts half at a time. I'm just going to swipe somewhere in the 2D plan to deselect, grab my first half, go ahead to fanning, now at the top of the fanning window, if we pull it up, we'll see we're fanning on tilt. Give ourselves a nice fan here, either on the screen or with the encoder. Go to the other side. I see that we're plus 10% on first, and we'll just match it real quick. Super easy. This time it's going to be minus 10% though, because these fixtures are inverted. Perfect. Now, we we'll press record, back to our fixtures preset windows. Again, we can switch windows, it's not going to record a view or anything like that. We're still going towards our goal. We'll give it a preset. 
give it a name, we're good to go. We can also work with presets, maybe with each fixture individually, to make a downstage center position. In that case, I'll select my darts. And I'm just going to put them in a color so we can see them a little better. That way, when I use highlight and hit next, I know which fixture I'm working with. Back to pan tilt. I'll hide this here. We'll just go ahead, tilt this guy over. Next. Awesome. Now we'll go ahead, record that as a second pan tilt. Downstage center, good to go. Now we'll go ahead and make one more. This time I'm going to go back to our fan preset. So I'll select all my darts, go to my fan preset. And we're just going to take the tilt, go all the way up to the ceiling with these guys. Select my other half. Of course, I could use a group as well. We'll just select them here. Whoa. Tilt them up till they about match. Excellent. Go ahead, record that. Turn out the preset. Call it Sky. Done. Now we'll build some color presets. Same process. In fact, I'll press undo here. Undo in Onyx is just a programmer undo. It's not going to undo saving uh, recording cues or presets or anything like that. But it does bring our info back into the programmer. So I'll go here to color, select my darts, turn off highlight. And this time, we'll go to color here, double tap for our color picker, build some color presets. Red, roughly. You can always update it later. Green. Blue. Cyan. The cool thing about presets is that you can always update them later, as you may know. And every cue that you used the preset in then gets updated. And so it's OK, as I often do when I'm building a show at first, if you don't get the colors quite perfect. White. And let's go back and do violet. As always with the color picker, I'm coming in here, I'm getting my color approximate, but I'm just not quite to my violet that I like, so I'm going to close the color picker. Now I can see my red, green, blue on my wheels. It was there the whole time. And I can just dial in my blue, dial back my red a little. Awesome. Whether we're working with groups or presets, if we place something in the right place, it's easy to just go ahead, press move, press the preset move it into the right spot. Nice and easy. Now we'll go ahead, maybe make a couple Gobo presets. And this show file was part of the showroom already. And so there's already some here, and that's OK. Uh, we'll go ahead. You could record some more. Nice and easy. Same exact process. Now when we're working in Onyx, presets are not only for just the regular parameters, 
intensity, pan, tilt, color, the actual attributes that the lights have, but they're also for everything else the console does. If you're used to working in other consoles, this may take a minute to sink in. That things like your effect speed, the size of your effect, fade time on particular parameters, delays on particular parameters, even the pixel mapping information in Dylos that we'll get into later. All of it is our regular parameters. All of it is treated the same inside of Onyx. So we can record anything to a preset of that type and then be able to, to use it in our show. Let's go ahead and make a delay preset. I'm going to go ahead and I have my darts selected. I'm going to clear though just so I only have my darts. And then in my programmer, I'll, I'm, I've had the programmer window up for illustration. I'm going to press delay, zero through, five through, zero, enter. Now, what this does when we put it into a queue, which we'll do a little later, is it creates a delay across the lights as the queue goes. So the queue will have a master fade time, but then the, within the queue, the individual lights will have different delays as to when they start that. It makes for a really cool transition. Now we'll go back to fixtures and presets, record this, and the only tweak we need to make here is for one, we need to decide what parameter groups we want to store this for. I'm just going to choose all of them. And we need to make sure that values of time are selected on the record pop-up as well. I'm going to place this in my intensity group here of the presets, just in the top corner. We're going to call it delay. And then we'll use that just a little bit later. Awesome. Creating great presets is the first step to making a really awesome show. Now, let's move ahead and build our first queues and look at the different queueless types that we can place in Onyx.